take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in a slow, calm, relaxing breath. And as you release that breath, feel the tension, any stress, any worries can start to be released and feel them being released in your outward breath. Next time you breathe in, breathe in even deeper. A deep breath of resourceful relaxation. And again, releasing any tension, becoming more aware of your posture. Tension perhaps around your eyebrows, forehead, jaw. Just imagine how it would feel for that tension to just melt away. And as it melts away, feel the tension being released. Feel it leave your body. As you breathe out, make that outward breath longer than it normally would be. The deeper you breathe, the deeper relaxed you become. Breathing in and breathing out, becoming aware of not just my voice, but as many other different things to notice. You could notice the temperature in the room, the speed of your heart rate, noticing any friction in your breath, sometimes around the windpipe, nostrils or chest, and release that so you can breathe in more effortlessly, taking the friction away from a breath, easier to breathe in, and effortless to breathe out. Scan your body for any clues of tension. And maybe that tension is around the neck or the shoulders. So as you breathe in and breathe out, just imagine that tension melting away. And as your body relaxes, your imagination awakens. I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine what a fortress in a park nearby a city would look like. Perhaps you can even imagine being a bird flying over a beautiful city that contains a castle or that fortress. See the green of the grass. See the old stone walls, turrets. Maybe the old style of the windows, the architecture. But also see how close it is to the city. From up above, you can see the contrast of old and new. And the nature of a fortress is that it is built to last, built to protect. This fortress has lasted hundreds of years. And even with the growth of a big city, you can see The fortress is still strong. Strong walls. Strong turrets. And then just imagine flying down to the very top of a turret. As you touch down, feel that you're no longer a bird, that you are you. There in that moment. I want you to see blue skies, feel the sunshine on your skin, 
And from that high point, you can see the full fortress, the park, and the city. The city can represent opportunities, but also challenges. The park can represent relaxation and tranquility. But feel like the fortress can represent you. It is protecting what is valuable and vulnerable inside. The nature of a castle or a fortress is that when they want people to come in, they can open up the doors, lower a bridge, and it becomes easy. It's easy to be discerning and allow people to get inside. But equally, a fortress is built to keep out unwanted people. Those stone walls, defensive positions, metal gates are all there to protect. But if the bridge never gets raised and the portcullis never gets lowered, you could have the strongest fortress in the world. But the fortress is only effective when the boundaries are protected and maintained. To feel like you can breathe in and breathe out there on that fortress. Feeling deeper and deeper relaxed. And allow the logical, analytical part of your mind to stay there at the very top of the turret in the fortress. And allow a part of you that wants change to feel that while the analytical part is there relaxing at the top of a turret, I want you to imagine that you are inspecting the boundaries and the perimeter wall. But this time, allow the fortress to fully represent you. I want you to imagine as you walk around the fortress, there is a dog walking by your side. As you look at the dog, feel that your posture is changing. Feel the wonderful feeling of elegance and confidence start to grow within you. And you and the dog are now inspecting the boundaries. But this isn't reality. This is your imagination. If you feel like there's a damaged wall, you can just imagine that wall getting thicker, stronger, or higher. Damaged bricks can become repaired. A moat can become deeper or filled with water. A bridge can get longer. A portcullis can have thicker metal. As you walk around this, feel that you are empowering the fortress to become stronger. Trust that what's inside the fortress is valuable, desirable. And maybe in the past you've seen that the walls weren't maintained. The moat became easy to walk across. And I want you to accept the suggestion that it is your responsibility to manage your boundaries, to protect what's valuable. But you can do that in your mind. And as the fortress becomes stronger, impenetrable, Also acknowledge 
that the fortress is giving. The option to be defensive, but not the obligation to do so. This is not uncommon. For a dog that was mistreated as a puppy, to bark and snarl at any human in its future. That is, boundaries that are no longer useful because it keeps everyone away. Equally, sometimes you see a, a dog that is broken, been mistreated for so long that it will tolerate any amount of pain and mistreatment. That boundary also isn't useful. As you look down at an elegant, proud, black poodle, I want you to observe a dog that has the boundaries, like Goldilocks, just right. That if someone crosses a line, they won't bite straight away, they will bark, or snarl, or communicate that something isn't okay. Biting as a last resort. And in a relationship, leaving the relationship is a last resort. But if a dog is never willing to bite, the boundaries can be eroded. If the fortress is never willing to put swordsmen and archers around the perimeter, the fortress is no longer functional. I want you to feel that you can unlock a sense of deep appreciation and trust for who you are. Opening up your willingness to communicate and protect boundaries. And maybe these boundaries link to trust and betrayal, respect or neglect. What's okay and what isn't okay. As you breathe in and breathe out, feel that as you continue to walk around the perimeter of this beautiful, elegant fortress. The fortress is getting stronger and more beautiful. I want you to think perhaps of someone that you've known from your past that never protected any of their boundaries. Someone that if they were disrespected, they tolerated him. If they were humiliated, they accepted it. And I want you to see that in a short period of time, maybe they stopped looking after themselves, stopped taking pride in their appearance. As you start to make the link that strong boundaries inevitably lead to a sense of self-respect, pride, and value. If you think of old castles that haven't been maintained, they're not castles or fortresses, they're ruins. That the maintenance is essential to its strength. And I wonder, in what ways can you give yourself self-care, to nourish, to make you feel valuable, but also to make your boundaries stronger than ever before. Walk to the entrance of the fortress, walk inside and then feel that you could protect that fortress. No one else is inside now apart from you. Close the gates. If there's a drawbridge, raise it. If there's a moat, make it deeper and filled with water. 
You can even put alligators or piranhas in that moat. Not because it's possible, just because it's useful to imagine a protected fortress and you are safe inside. And when you feel safe inside the fortress, let me know by nodding your head. And then find a room inside the fortress with a comfortable bed. Maybe one of those old medieval four poster beds. See it elegant with silk sheets. Maybe with gold ornate patterns around the side. Place yourself on the bed, head on a pillow and just feel that you're drifting off into a state of relaxation. As your body relaxes, your mind opens to powerful positive suggestions designed to keep you safe. Imagine if every day you find it easier to trust your inner voice guiding you to make clear and confident decisions. Feel a growing belief in your ability to discern what is best for you, empowering your choices and actions. You naturally and clearly communicate your boundaries knowing they are respected and necessary for your well-being. Feel that you can release any attachment to outcomes and relationships that do not serve your highest good. And sometimes people don't honor their boundaries because of fear, fear of loss, fear of judgment, fear of the future. But I want you to imagine that any fear of loss is slowly dissolving, replaced by a strong assurance in your path forward. With each breath, you feel more worthy of relationships that bring you joy, honesty, and fulfillment. As you become increasingly aware of your core needs and values, ensuring they are met in every aspect of your life. Needs are necessary. Wants are desirable. As you feel empowered to communicate your needs and also feel confident to communicate when those needs are not being met. In doing so, you feel more confident in yourself, but also you empower others to help meet your needs. But this isn't a dictatorship. As confident as you are to communicate your needs, you become curious as to the needs of other people. As this becomes an alliance, you help others to meet their needs and they help you to meet yours. A fulfilling, empowering relationship. Feel that from this place of strength and safety, decision making comes easily and naturally to you. With each choice feeling aligned and right. You're committed to honoring your own standards. Recognizing that this is a responsibility to yourself that also brings you joy and self-esteem.
It's always desirable to mend a relationship than end a relationship. But if a relationship can't be mended, then it's necessary to be ended. And you accept that ending a relationship is necessary when it no longer fulfills you, giving you space and time and opening up a window for a better opportunity. You feel confident and calm during crucial conversations, expressing your needs effectively and compassionately. And each decision you make empowers you more, reinforcing your ability to trust in your judgment. You don't just accept change, you welcome change, knowing it brings growth and aligns with your highest good. As you feel safe in your fortress, your emotional strength is growing, helping you handle any situation with a feeling of inner strength and decisiveness. Imagine finding a room in this fortress where there's a crystal ball. Stare into the crystal ball and see a future where you are happy in a fulfilling relationship. See yourself feeling excited and positive about the possibilities and trust that you are deserving and worthy of that future that the more you meet your own needs, the more self-care you give yourself, the more you manifest the very future you desire. You are comfortably assertive, expressing yourself clearly and standing firm in your beliefs and decisions. And as you do so, a sense of peace starts expanding and growing inside your being, knowing you are doing what is right for yourself. You trust the timing of your life, understanding that everything unfolds perfectly for the journey that you're on. You don't have to do it alone. You appreciate and can draw strength from your support system, the people in your life that can help you navigate difficult times. But fundamentally, these are your decisions to make, no one else's. Listen, take advice. But your decisions are owned by you that excites you, because it means that you are now in control of your own destiny. It's nice to believe that people get what they deserve. They don't. They get what they tolerate. If you tolerate disrespect, you get more disrespect. Tolerate deceit, you get more deceit. You always have the ability to change your life in a single decision. And you can find joy and strength that comes from your own independence, knowing that it leads to deeper and more authentic connections. I want you to imagine leaving elegant bed, the crystal ball, and finding that logical, analytical version of you relaxing at the top of a turret. Connect with that part, the analytical part is good for decision making, but needs to work with your emotional part, 
that now feels stronger than it did before. Working in harmony to protect what's valuable and ensure that you, psychologically and emotionally, are stronger than the strongest fortress. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Feel like you're connecting with the present moment in the here and now. Your current location and your current time is very soon. I count from one to ten to awaken you. You will awaken feeling resourceful, confident that you can trust yourself and you can be decisive, particularly in those areas that are most important. Starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.